hey aries welcome back to the channel guys so let's go ahead and see what is coming towards you this week in love universe archangels spirit angel guides and guardians what is coming towards aries this week in love please help me give them clear and concise messages what's coming towards aries what can they expect universe archangels spirit angel guides and guardians aries please keep in mind that these readings are timeless general love reading so they may or may not resonate with you so please take what does and leave the rest behind universe what is this overall energy here for aries what is coming towards them this harmony there might be some conflict for you this this week the fifth dimension here but i feel like your spirit guys are trying to give you messages though okay you might be having a difficult time this week with the person that is on your mind there could have very well this is something that's been building up i'm hearing this like this has been weeks already of a build-up and somewhere along this time or somewhere along this week you're gonna find yourself in a place where I, I'm hearing an argument. I'm hearing some harsh com communication, but it's because somebody has hit that boiling point, okay? Pay attention to your dreams this week as well because I feel like your spirit guides are really protecting you. They're trying to give you some type of messages here. Also, throughout the day, make sure that you're paying attention to your surroundings. You may be getting um, spiritual messages as well from your ancestors. They're trying to give you a sign. They're giving you a sign about this situation. So for some of you guys, I feel like the conflict in your connection is because there could, there could be this this underlining fear that there is no that somebody is not being faithful okay someone is not speaking the truth someone is holding back five of wands to me it's like it, it, someone has a, a competition or you know what and i'm speaking from a girl's perspective because i've done this in my relationship sometimes i kind of make up thinking that there is competition out there where indeed nothing's going on you know that's just a girl thing and that's just me probably but I feel like there, there's there's this energy of your person did or said something not too long ago and it's like that that has been fermenting and it's been building up and it's become what it is right now okay so you're taking your person's communication towards you as them being cold them being um like they're blocking, they're being silent or secretive, okay? Because of these misunderstandings, I feel like your person's also kind of like pulling away from the situation because they might be getting tired of the argument, Aries, okay? Or this can very well be your energy. But again, they're asking you to remember. Remember your dreams. Remember a message. Remember some advice that you were given in the past. Remember. Remember a lesson that you learned in some past conflicts as well. There are some shifts that need to occur here, okay? But there's there's this renewal, a fresh start. I feel like after some time of really, really trying to understand each other, you guys have will have an opportunity here to have a fresh start again. But this is only going to happen if you if you listen to what is going on around you or in your dreams what are your messages that your ancestors are trying to give you your spirit guides maybe they're trying to tell you hey your person's not up to anything they're probably just working or, or maybe they're trying to tell your person that you know what i mean but at the end of the day what i'm really getting here is you guys need to stop and listen is what i'm hearing stop and listen to each other because there's a situation that's really escalating and truth be told is for no apparent reason it's a reason for you it's a reason for you to get mad but really it started from something really simple small and irrelevant and it's become this unnecessary dramatic situation why i don't know okay so destiny renewal see you're dealing with someone who you've always been meant to be with okay someone that you were meant to to have this life with this masculine energy, I feel like this person is your yang to your yin or vice versa, whatever way you want to say it. But you guys went through this, this harmony. You guys went through this um, 
process, this misunderstanding, this isolating period because there was something that needed to change in your connection, okay? And now you are being given in the 5D these answers to change the situation. So if you're in a relationship right now where you feel like you and your person are just not seeing eye to eye, it's because there's something that, first of all, has not been been listen to you're not listening to each other and second of all you are not paying attention to your to your signs from universe okay you might be looking for red flags when there is no red flags is what i'm hearing okay you're looking for shit when there is no shit to be looked for all right no offense i'm sorry i don't mean to be disrespectful so there's times where you and this person really just kind of see each other for a second and you're like i wish things were the way they were in the past or I wish we, we, you know, we can start over again. You do have that opportunity. I feel like you guys miss the old you. You guys have a chance to get back to that. But there has to be a solution to whatever it is the problem that's going on between you and this person. I'll be honest with you, Aries. Right now, you're in separation literally from somebody who you may still be sharing a home with. Or just kind of told each other, oh, well, Right now we're in separation, we're at a pause, whatever. But the truth of the matter is that before this situation becomes a complete ending, a divorce or abandonment, whatever, you guys need to sit down and talk to each other. You guys really need to listen to each other because there is something that neither you or this person are, are getting or understanding and you guys are letting your ego kind of take control of this. And you're kind of running with half-ass information. You're running with half-ass information. So it is best that you, first of all, listen to what's going on with you and this individual. Pay attention to your messages from, from the divine. And definitely pay attention to your dreams. Because I feel like your ancestors are coming in to help you in this situation. You can say you're in separation from this person right now. You may very well be. And you guys are missing each other. But... You guys need to really sit down and talk to each other, okay? So universe, archangel, spirit, angel, guides, and guardians, please help me give clarity to Aries here. What really happened in the past between Aries and the person that is on their mind universe? Page of swords in the reverse. You guys stopped talking. You guys stopped talking and you started fighting, okay? I feel like somebody here made a smart remark or somebody here did something that the other individual did not did not like and then boom it became this okay and you guys aren't communicating here king of wands energy aries forgive me or you might be dealing with a, another fire sign but you probably misunderstood this or something happened here I, and I, I as my spirit is telling me please <laughs> please i'm sorry don't don't be mad but i feel like it could have been my Aries here. What's this overall energy from the past universe? Yeah, three of swords energy. So, Aries, if you believe that there's a third party in your connection. Now, listen to what I'm telling you. There can very well be a third party in your connection, but this is not a third party the way you think it is. This is not a sexual connection. I do feel like this is somebody who has or who is maybe showing your person interest and you got wind of it. But it's going to be a very short-lived situation. If it hasn't ended yet, it's going to end. But I feel like whatever happened in the past, it was because people interfered, something interfered, but you guys are still not talking to each other to resolve it. Okay, I feel like you stopped talking to each other too. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is the current energy between Aries and the person that is on their mind? Ace of Cups energy. Wow, Six of Swords, the Empress. You, you and this person, when I tell you guys you want to get back to the way things used to be, you both want to get back to the way things used to be. You just got to figure out a way how to get there. Okay, and it may be that you guys will have to backtrack to whatever's going on over here. And as painful as it is to go back to this shit show and shenanigans, you got to go back to it because there's some resolution that needs to happen here in order for you to guys for you guys to get here. Okay, there's like there is some attention that needs to be paid to something in the past in order for you guys to get to this energy here to get back into a loving, committed 
abundance relationship that definitely moves towards calmer waters. Now, I feel like if you, for a long time, Aries, you had a relationship with someone who you you really never found yourself to have conflict with, and now that you have the conflict with this person, it's just like it goes from zero to a hundred. Why? Because I don't think you guys even ever knew how to fight before. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is the current energy here for Aries and this person? The judgment. See, somebody needs to take the initiative here, Aries. Take the initiative and, and get this situation figured out. Truth be told, the opportunity for you and this person to get back into a committed relationship is very clear. It's just someone will need to take the initiative and actually start taking responsibility for whatever caused this disharmony at the beginning. Okay? Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is the outcome here for Aries and the person that is on their mind? What is the outcome here? Please help me give them clarity. What is the outcome? Nine of Pentacles. Well, honestly, you guys don't want to be single. Okay? Page of Cups, Energy, Justice. You guys just want things to get back to the way they used to be. Ten of Pentacles, where you had a happy home, a stable home, possibly even have kids at home. Like, you want everything to go back the way it used to be. But you have to understand that you guys are in this predicament right now because there is something that you guys are lacking from the past, okay? There is some type of resolution that you do have to go back to, you do have to fix in order to move into this abundant, stable energy, yeah, the death here. There has to be a transformation. There has to be a change. So, look, if you're in a situation where you've been told your person has stepped out or you've gotten, you got some proof or whatever, whatever it is, you guys have to go back to that painful starting of the problem, the, the beginning of the problem, and get that result. Get down to the nitty-gritty and really find out if there is somebody there and what is it that we're going to do here because... There's a necessity here for you guys to end a chapter, to transform, to let go of the past, to let go of the misunderstanding, to figure out whatever in the world needs to be figured out so you guys could now have your peace, your justice, your harmony, your, your wish fulfillment to get back into this committed relationship. You and this person are going to have to work together to remove these blockages is what I heard. Final messages here for Aries Universe. Final messages, please. Final messages. Wow. You see, your cards keep, they stop right when I'm shuffling. Ten of Cups energy. The potential of you and this person moving towards victory and success, getting back to that Ten of Cups energy, it's very doable. It's reachable. You can literally cross the other line and be there. But there is something that you both have to release from the past. You guys have to go to the past and fix something here. Look at Two of Wands energy. As I told you a couple minutes ago, you both are going to have to work together to get this relationship back on track. It's fixable. It is. It really is. But you and this individual need to go back and resolve whatever is is causing the initial anger here. So if it was something that someone said, if there's a suspicion of a third party, whatever it is, it could even be the person's friends interfering and you guys need to go back and speak about that. Whatever it is, you both have the power to get this relationship back on track, but you both have to go back and fix it together, okay? All right, guys, I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.